To me, it means um, people who do, do not want to identify as fundamentalist Christianity uh, and that there is another wing to this story of uh, interpreting Jesus uh, life and teachings. And I think that's terribly important to say. Uh, again, I, my interest, my passion in studying and making available Hildegard of Bingen, Meister Eckhart, Thomas Aquinas, Hugh and Norwich, all these wonderful mystics of the, of the Middle Ages. Part of my passion is that these people are not fundamentalist in any stretch of the imagination. And uh, fundamentalism has so sucked the air out of the room. It gets so much air time in the press, in the media, uh, and so forth, that uh, it's almost scary how underrepresented uh, an intelligent Christianity is. I remember I was doing a retreat a few years ago for Lutheran pastors in the Midwest, and one fellow I uh, had lunch with was a fundamentalist, and he, uh, you know, a Lutheran pastor. He said, I've never heard, these people you're quoting, Hildegard, I've never heard the names before, Aquinas, never heard the names. And I said, well, what did you study in the seminary? We just studied the Bible. And I said, did you study it in English or in the Bible of English? You know, well, you know, so your, your, your education goes from late 20th century back to the first century, supposedly, and you know nothing about what's in between. Well, that's true, he said. So it's pitiful how ahistorical the fundamentalist um, uh, religion and interpretation of Christianity is, and yet it's taken over. It's in the Vatican, you see, it's also taken over in the Vatican. Uh, it's just more easy for lazy minds to um, to shout what they believe instead of to probe what, uh, what's really there and what other uh, great minds and souls have been probing for centuries. And so I see progressive Christianity as uh, an, an, a willingness to bring mind uh, to the um, understanding of, of history and of the scriptures. And, um, and not just slogans.